Tested. Hey guys, Will from Tested. I'm Norm from Tested. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. 2011. Doesn't work for the glasses though. Uh, what do I have here in my hand? Something from the future. It's from Darth Vader's. It looks like Darth Vader's laptop. It's completely unmarked. You open it up. Bam, it's Google's CR48 Chrome OS beta test laptop. Amazing. They're sending this right. model out to businesses and select beta testers. Awesome people like me. Uh, as free laptops, there is a uh, Verizon radio Yeah, in here. it has 100 megabits a megabytes a month of yep. free download. For two years. Uh, wow, but you can buy a monthly plan or a daily plan for 10 bucks okay. or, or something. Um, and we don't know what hardware's in. Have they said what hardware's in? It's like a, a CLB or low-powered Intel CPU probably. Yeah, right? I mean, more powerful than your typical netbook, but not like, as powerful like as a MacBook Air. Yeah. Let's uh, pull up the table and talk about this a minute. All right, I want to see what you can and cannot do with it. Boot this up. Bam! Yeah, that was less than two seconds. And it's already connected to the internet. So that was in sleep mode. That was in sleep mode. That was the it's, first I wanted to know. It boots faster, uh, it boots faster than like normal PC does when you're in not sleep mode as well. But I mean most of the time you're just closing the lid, opening the lid, it's it's sleeping. Because there's nothing there. here. It's just a browser. It's a browser with some RAM and a little bit of SSD. Can you minimize this window? No, I cannot. What? That's this is the window. This is the whole world. So you can't even have a wallpaper. No, there's no wallpaper. Oh, I, maybe you can change this, but I, why do you need wallpaper? Of battle stations. Okay, okay. So here's the first thing you see. A, you can go to the normal, uh, you know, the browser window and just go to, you know, like Google.com or whatever. Okay. Not in the browser right now. Uh, or alternately, you have a whole boatload of apps. So some of these apps are just shortcuts. Some of them are very and clearly some shortcuts. Some are actual apps. Let's show an actual app. So this is a shortcut G to Gmail. Gmail. I'm not going to show that. A new tab. A we'll uh, new show tab. Uh, let's see. Actual app. How about TweetDeck? Okay. Because there is no TweetDeck website. There is no TweetDeck website. Uh, oh, wait, I already had it open in another window. Wait, wait, wait. So this is like a separate window. Yes. And how do you... I'm going to make it full screen. Tab. Oh, look, we're full screen. So this is a separate window. There's a button on the keyboard where like F5 or F6 would normally be. And you mash that and it switches back and forth between the two, between the two windows. Now, you can make the windows full screen like this, okay. just like you can in the browser. Uh, and basically, this is a full screen app. This is, you know, this is TweetDeck just like on my desktop. You know, here's things that are bull, people are responding, you can add new columns. It doesn't actually pull in TweetDeck the, the columns from, uh, you know, your other uh, TweetDeck installations yet, but apparently that's something that's coming. But if you open a new future. tab, again, you can open Here's so, more stuff. So, you know, you can go to Pandora or whatever. Most of these are shortcuts to websites, basically. Like Pandora. Like Pandora. Which I'm going to give you a list of things that I want to see if this laptop can do. This miracle laptop. And we'll see if they can actually do these things. Can okay. you... Uh, watch internet video. Yes. Something simple. Yes. Do you want to go to like YouTube? Hulu. I, I, uh, I know it's going to work with YouTube. Oh, okay. So let's go. I didn't actually go to Hulu because I'm not that much of a Hulu user. So obviously no out. Hulu desktop. But I imagine Hulu is something that many people in America would well, so want to use. One of the things that I've found using this for about a you know long weekend pretty much is that uh, Flash is a definite weak point. And whether that's because it's using Google's Flash implementa implementation or uh, because it's just a kind of underpowered, crappy netbook. I don't know. Well, Flash and Chrome, people have had problems with. It's, it's not, Flash and not everything. everything. Sure. Flash and Firefox used to be the Flash and Chrome. I but, mean, but Hulu works. Can you do full screen? Uh, I don't know. Let's see. So let's watch an ad. Ooh, I'm going to uh, full screen. Is this full screen? That's the full screen button. Bam! Hey, full screen works. Sweet. Well, let's see. The frame rate could be like 15 frames a second. Yeah, this is very low frame rate. Yeah, this is not an awesome experience. So, I mean, this is, this is, from my experience, more of a work computer than a play computer. Google Docs, that kind of stuff works great. Oh, look, Match.com. All right, that's my next question. Okay. So, documents. Can you edit documents with more than just Google Docs? Uh, yeah, I used Office Live and all that stuff. I don't want to do that because you have to sign into it every time, and I don't want to type my password in on camera. But yeah, the Office Live stuff worked. Uh, you can't use Word or, or Open Office or something so like that. So if you have a document be and you want to save it, can you save it onto like, like a, a flash stick or something or, like this? Or a local storage? Yeah, so uh, the way that works is you just go to Google Docs just like normal. Um, I'm going to be signed in here. I'm killing Desperate Housewives in the background. Uh, okay. And what, so what here we go. Uh, Logitech G9X. This is one of my favorite things. Okay. All right, so you plugged in a USB plugged key. Plugged in a USB and key. And you can save this file. Download as. Let's save it as a PDF. PDF. That seems awfully complicated. And, and yes, I'm going to allow the download. And so it doesn't download locally. There's no. I mean, there's a hard drive in this laptop. There is a hard drive. This is this is saved locally, and then you can save it as. Uh, I'm going to save this file, and I'm going to save it as blah blah blah. And then I don't know exactly where it goes. This is the. It, theoretically, it's on this thumb drive. I don't know for sure. Oh, this 
seems not very user friendly. Uh, can you uh, edit a podcast? No, you could never edit podcast. Uh, can I mean, edit video. If there was some sort of web-based video editor, yes, you could. You can do some photo editing though. I played with Picnic a little bit, uh, and while it's, I'm not going to show it here because it's uh, kind of involved. You can do basic crops and video f uh, photo edits, lightening, darkening, uh, you know, clipping stuff like that. And this is just the website. Again, this is, not this a, is just a bookmark to the website Picnic, which is an online. How about Picasa? Kind of Picasa, Google makes it. It's a uh, standalone app. Is it an app here? So the version of Picasa that you're using here is basically just the website. This is PicassoWeb.Google.com. There is no equivalent of the you know, standalone desktop client, which seems to me like it might be going away, although there's a lot of nice stuff you can do on the desktop I, side. I like the desktop client. What about, uh, can you do like Dropbox? Can you open files from Dropbox? Uh, yeah, you can You can go to Dropbox. I don't know, I, I didn't actually try that, so that's a good question. I guess it's just, probably just a lot. I'd say it's gonna work just like the, like the other thing. So I mean, basically, this is kind of like a gimped, I used this in place of my iPad this week, basically. So, uh, you know, where I normally pick up the iPad to browse the web, check the site, answer comments, stuff like that. The, the things you trade are the lots and lots of Apple apps for a keyboard, which is, I mean, I think a pretty fair trade. Uh, battery life seems really good. It's not 10 hours, but I, I think I charged it once from Thursday to today, using it probably an hour or two a day at the outside. So uh, it's pretty good. I was able to do light photo crops and stuff like that and uh, post stories with it. So there you go. All CR48, right. let's go back to the bricks. Back to the bricks. So chiclet keyboard, I mean, it's not something you can buy. So. It's a little bit hard for us to talk about and recommend. We're not going to do a full review, but I'll keep writing up about impressions of using and stuff like that. We'll expect to see um, real retail yeah. uh, Google Chrome laptops. Like this uh, year. This year. Yeah. yeah. 2011. 400 bucks. I think, I think starting at 250 and going up to maybe 250. Punch. Test it, I will. <laughs>